Hello everybody, Digfig here, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We left off exploring said bunker. And uh, underneath the, we're, just, we're doing the Zero Dawn project facility. That's what we're exploring. We've got so many things to read and listen to down here. That wasn't the right button, there we go. Counselor Godli Godlines, Godlines, hello. For, DB for debriefing after presentation one. Candidates must be allowed to ask questions and be given the necessary time to fully absorb the information they have received. It is important to be aware that candidates have just been exposed to triggers for severe mental and emotional trauma. Do not assume silence or outward calmness indicates acceptance. It is essential to stress that all other options for combating the Pharaoh plague and preserving the con continuation of human life have been considered and found unworkable. Communicating this fact calmly but clearly and firmly familiarizes yourself with data. Familiarize yourself with data on the catastrophic environmental impact of nuclear engagements versus the swarm. Addendum B1. And unfeasibly of maintaining life in orbit, lunar or undersea structures. Agen uh, addenda C1, C2, C3. So you can encounter so you can counter candidates' objectives in depth. If candidates ask for time alone to review supplementary information, allow this without hesitation. Be sure to inform security personnel so the candidate can be monitored for attempts of self-harm. Candidates should only be clear to proceed to presentation 2 if you believe their mental state is significantly stable. Note the real-time support will be available for your focus security and mental crisis teams are data corrupt that... I mean, it's true. They would need so much. Like, there's not even funny with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about? Did I break it by running away? Yes, I did. Being with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, doctor? Nothing the general said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. She sounds strong. She sounds tough. She sounds like she's dealing with it. Remarkably well. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code-breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. I feel Unfortunately, bad. your estimation was correct. It sucks. As your General Hera said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? Also, sounds like a strong, independent woman. It's holding together very well. That seems to be a very powerful running theme in this entire game. Which isn't a problem. More power to him. What is in here? These like hide anything? Do they have anything hidden in them? 
They're all off the map. Sweet. This one doesn't go anywhere but there. Some free shit for me to explore. That one's a dead end there. Nothing to interact with in these, right? This one takes me where? Is it just like so I can sneak around and all the pools without being detected? Kind of what it looks like. I need to keep up on what I've done and what I haven't done. So this is the room with the one on the shelf. As we've done all these, I would like to one more time check out here. Looking good. There's the data terminals across the way, and there's some more things in this room. Was around and on the desk. Ooh. Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. Uh, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. But you people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. You probably wasn't wrong about embryonics. And her being a clone of the other person fits into my narrative for that and makes sense. Of let every single fucking person die on all of the planet, build a system to repopulate Earth with new life, and then release humans back into said biosphere and hope they can survive under their own human survival instincts, which we have in absolute fucking spades as a race. Let's see. That is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people. They feed off them? Yes. Not just people, all organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please, tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! Uh, Doctor, uh, please! You get Ted Pharaoh in here! He was definitely a hostile one. What about you? Want to discuss? Whew. So Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and lake of fire that on kind of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty, too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. So Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. <laughs> hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee? Conflict cappuccinos? Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. Lols. I don't know. It's like a running theme in this game that all the males are borderline incompetent or weirdos and, and all the women are the strong independent. 
which is fine. More power to him. I really don't care at all. It's just funny to notice that, like, there's no balance. It's like this or that. It's not like some and some. It's, it's odd to me, but I want to listen to this last one, darn it. Thank you. you. previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? I came here thinking this was a rendition. When your people took me, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since... Since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just... I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but... Tech could really sell a concept, and, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. Yeah, one of the probable ways of human extinction. Why people are petrified of robots. I don't know if it's valid or not. There is a log up there. There is some mistake. I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a Nobel laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm, the pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible, but it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai, my friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Preserving of human knowledge and culture. Just trying to teach it to a new generation is insanely important in our current situation of the things they are trying to accomplish, presumably. And if I had to just throw a guess out there, it's fine. Get up here. Because there was one thing up here, so there could be more. Because I think there's another room up here. I know I ran up here and, like, tried to loot this already. No, I didn't. Okay. The vent that goes nowhere. So there is another room up here, but we can't get in it see any other logs so we are going to move forward to the next door cbo2 data intact initiating playback that's convenient elizabeth sobeck you've heard the bad news and it's all true the pharaoh plague is devouring the biosphere life itself will cease to exist but does that have to be the end what if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, 
each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo, the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. destroyed but then remade yes by a machine a machine of creation elizabeth did this for life for us but why hades then if it was part of gaia how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. So that broadcast tower outside of the main city is what that picture was, that pillar that sticks up out of uh, right in front of the main city in this game. It's the broadcast tower to shut off all all the old robots. Their deactivation code tower. I'm assuming Gaia being a self-replicating AI either built another AI that then turned against her and as an AI she learned her lesson and has been battling Hades or defeated Hades in an AI battle or Hades is the remnants of the artificial intelligence that probably got network created from all of the old robots and it is what is left of said glitch and it turns out said glitch was the creation of a self-aware AI in the system. Could be wrong. Also, all the robots we kill, fight, and destroy are trying to terraform the planet for Gaia. And we're her end goal. The question is, where did the other humans come from? If Gaia just, if I'm the first to pop out from Gaia, why are there other people? Is that Hades' work? Hmm. Sure, we'll find out. The story just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. It's 
That's very interesting. Just don't know. But either way, everyone, we are out of time for this episode on that bombshell conclusion right there. Interesting. It answered the question a lot sooner than I thought the game would. But Ab uh, opened up more questions. So touche. That's good story writing, good development, and a good continuation. And I'm I want to know more. So on that note, do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification, check out my Twitch channel, all the other stuff I do, all the social medias, which is really only Instagram and Twitter, and not so much Twitter. Instagram I post on more regularly. <coughs> So let me clear my throat. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Dig out. Also, uh, watch all the content front to back. It's honestly like one of the number one things you can do right now to help a YouTuber. It's, it's flabbergasting how much that helps the channel, guys. <laughs>